The following segment is sponsored by Selkie Financial Group. Welcome back. It is hard to believe, but there are only a few weeks left in 2018. Oh, that is so wild to me. Well, mm -hmm. you, it's a very busy time of year. You've got Christmas, things to do. You shouldn't forget about those finances. No, we never forget about our finances, <laughs> Jeff, of course. Never. Jeff Selke is here to give us all the information and tips we need to prepare for the end of the year and tax season. Yes. So the end of the year is upon us. Christmas is coming, there's so many things going on, and this is just one more thing that we should be thinking about at this time of year is planning, doing some year-end financial planning, financial and tax planning. There's certain things that you can only do by December 31st, and if you don't do them, they don't help you for this year. And then you're in trouble. Is that yes. like something like no charitable book. donations and things yeah, like that? Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of things. So on the tax side, there are certain things that you can do before the end of the year, such as charitable contributions okay. um, that can help your taxes potentially. And uh, you're doing something good. And you're helping <laughs> people in need, and that's great. Um, so charitable contributions have to be done by December 31st to be counted for this tax okay. year. If you wait till January 1st, it's too late. That's for next year. Same thing goes for uh, contributions to your company retirement plans. So if you participate in a 401k or something like that at your work, the only time you, can, you have to contribute by December 31st. So if okay. you want that tax deduction for those contributions, you've got to do it by the end of the year. There are other things that you can do starting next year, such as contributing to an IRA, an individual retirement account. You can do that until tax day. So there are some things you can put off, but there's some things you cannot. Okay, and, and money is on everyone's mind right yeah. now with the holidays, but maybe in the wrong way. <laughs> maybe yes. spending, right? Yes, and it's very common with Christmas and, you know, being generous, people that we are, of maybe spending a little too much mm -hmm. on our friends and family members, and, and we don't see that bill usually because we're putting it on our credit card yes, until January, and then all of a sudden in January we've got this huge bill that we've got to look at. So there are some things you can do with that as well. Just look at budgeting, try to figure out, okay, how much am I going to spend this year? And it's very difficult, but try to keep to that budget. Try to say, okay, I'm going to spend this much on family members, this much on friends, this much on neighbors, whatever it is, have a budget. Try to figure out how much is okay to spend. How much money do I have? Uh, so that that January bill doesn't ruin next yes, year. Yes, <laughs> right. Absolutely. Now, if we have any issues like finding our own budget or just planning for the future, you can help us. You have a free guide, right? That's right. So I'm giving out a free guide today to the first 20 callers that mentioned Fresh Living, and it's going to talk about planning and planning for your future. Because another thing that you should be doing is looking at your investments, your portfolio. At the end of the year, this is a great time to look at, and are you comfortable with your investments? Are you okay with the volatility that we're experiencing right now? And if you're looking at your account and seeing it's down big, are you okay with that, or are some changes necessary? And so one of the things I'm also going to offer, the first 10 callers that call into Fresh Living, or call into us and mention Fresh Living, uh, we're going to give a free consultation, a free visit with me, either in person or over the phone, first 10 people that call right now, and that way you can get advice from me and figure out the what things you himself. should be doing. Yes. Get some personalized advice, make sure you have a good plan in place so that you're making the right financial decisions for your future. This is an incredible offer, especially as the end of the year is coming up, to have those tips for tax season, budgeting, and the new year. Yeah. Perfect. Thanks yeah. so much, Jeff. Where Here can we help. go for more information about you? Uh, also, visit our website, protectandgrowwealth.com, and give us a call, and love to help you and give you that guide. The Thank guru you. himself. Thank you. Thanks yes. so much, Jeff. Have a great day.